Just like your body needs organs to perform different functions, your cells need their own mini organs called organelles, which perform the specialized functions needed by the cell. In this episode, you'll learn about the different organelles present in the animal cell and how they address the needs of the cell. We can divide organelles into three categories, makers, breakers, and movers. The makers make items that the cells need to carry out normal functions. These can be things like ATP, proteins, and even other organelles. The breakers break apart items such as broken organelles and wastes. And last but not least, the movers move things where they need to go within a cell. For example, broken organelles need to be moved to the breakers to be taken apart. Let's take a look at each of these categories, and we'll start with the makers. Remember when we discussed the central dogma in an earlier video? Well, if you don't, the central dogma is where DNA is used to create proteins through the processes of transcription and translation. The cell's nucleus is where the DNA is transcribed into mRNA. That mRNA then moves to another maker, the ribosome, where it's translated into a protein. Let's take a look at this model. Just outside the nucleus is an organelle made of sacs and tubules called the endoplasmic reticulum. It comes in two flavors, rough and smooth. This is the rough ER, so named because of its rough appearance, thanks to all those little globules studded on it. These are ribosomes, which gives us a clue about the function of the rough ER. It's involved in making proteins. The ribosomes create the proteins, and then the proteins get into the lumen, or center, of the rough ER. This is where they can be modified. Outside of the rough ER is the smooth ER, which is involved in synthesizing lipids and hormones, and it even detoxifies drugs and poisons. As we look at the cell, notice that these makers go in order. The DNA creates mRNA in the nucleus, and the mRNA moves to the rough ER to make proteins, and then these get shipped to the smooth ER, where they can be incorporated into the cell membrane as it's created, or placed into small bits of membrane called vesicles and moved to another part of the cell by movers. You may wonder where the ribosomes come from. They're made in the center of the nucleus, called the nucleolus. Let's look at another maker, which makes the energy to be used for a variety of functions within the cell. Energy in animal cells is stored in the form of a molecule called ATP which is made by an organelle called the mitochondrion. If you've heard of the mitochondrion being referred to as the powerhouse of the cell, this is why. ATP is created through a process called cellular respiration, where glucose and oxygen go in and ATP and carbon dioxide come out. Any time a chemical reaction within a cell needs energy to occur, which is a lot, it comes from ATP. Let's check in. Can you match the maker with the thing that it makes? Pause the video to work on your own and then press play when you think you've got it. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. Working from the center on outward, the nucleolus makes the ribosomes, the nucleus makes mRNA, ribosomes and the rough ER make protein, the smooth ER makes lipids and hormones, and the mitochondria make energy. Now, let's move on to the breakers. Our first breaker is the lysosome. They engulf and digest borne out and broken down organelles. How do they do this? Well, lysosomes are small pouches of cell membrane called vesicles filled with enzymes. These enzymes digest these worn out organelles down into their components. These components can then be recycled in the cell's cytoplasm to make shiny new organelles. Lysosomes are found in all animal cells, and the most recent data suggests that sometimes they're even found in plant cells. There are also additional breakers called peroxisomes, they're smaller than lysosomes, but structurally very similar. 
They contain enzymes specialized to break down smaller compounds such as fatty acids, amino acids, and uric acid. A byproduct of this is the creation of hydrogen peroxide, which is toxic to cells. But don't worry, they break that down too. Your liver, detoxifying organ that it is, is loaded with peroxisomes. So the lysosomes and peroxisomes break stuff down. But how does stuff get there to be broken down? This is where the movers come in. Our first mover is the Golgi complex. The Golgi complex is basically your cell's postal service. It repackages material that needs to be shipped to different locations within the cell and flags it with a specific destination. But how does that package get to its destination? Just as the postal worker drives your mail to your house by way of the road, your cell uses an organelle called the cytoskeleton, which is kind of like roads within the cell. The cytoskeleton is a network of microfilaments which extend in the cytosol of most cells. It gives a structure for motor proteins to travel along as they carry their packages to their destination. Basically, the cytoskeleton keeps the motor proteins from off-roading it. Our last mover is the centrosome, which is a highly specialized organelle used only during cell division. The centrosome is composed of two centrioles. Say that five times fast. Each centriole migrates to different poles in the cell and connects to different things, like chromosomes. Then they play a tug of war, pulling half the chromosomes to each side, which is really important when your cell is dividing. This ensures that the two cells have the same number of chromosomes. Okay, one last check-in. We're gonna pretend to be a broken down organelle headed to the recycling center. First, we need to be packaged and labeled with a destination. Which organelle is gonna do this? The Golgi complex. Next, we're gonna need that labeled package to move to the organelles that are going to break it down. But how will it get there? Cytoskeleton. Now it's en route reaching its final destination. Where is that? Lysosome, peroxisome. Lysosome, peroxisome. The lysosome. The final destination is the lysosome because lysosomes have enzymes that digest worn out organelles and recycle the salvageable parts. All of these organelles are engaged in processes that keep your cells alive, but there are two structures that we haven't mentioned. One is the barrier that keeps the insides of your cells separate from the outsides and surrounds your entire cell. This is the cell membrane. The other is the substance that surrounds the organelles and protects the interior of the cell. This is the cytoplasm. All right, you know what happens next. Recap time. Let's go back to our original categories, makers, breakers, and movers. Makers make things that cells need to survive, like proteins. These include the nucleus, nucleolus, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, and mitochondria. The breakers break down items no longer needed by the cell, such as worn out organelles and wastes. These include lysosomes and peroxisomes. And movers are involved in moving all of these things where they need to go. These include the Golgi complex, cytoskeleton, and the centrosome. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss our next video where we'll talk about the different types of cells and how their structures adapted to their functions. Stay tuned.